Well, I have good news and I have bad news. Good news, according to a new article in Forbes, more people are expected to opt out of gift exchanges this year. That means if you've been meaning to opt out of some gift exchanges, chances are the other people want to opt out too. And it's probably because of the bad news. Uh, number two, the holidays are expected to cost us up to 25% more this year. Prices on everything are going up, electronics, toys, and also even your Thanksgiving turkey is supposed to be a lot more expensive <laughs> this year. So today, let's talk about 15 holiday items that I just don't buy anymore. Now, the reasons I'm not buying these things isn't because I'm a Grinch or even because we're minimalist, so that's part of it. It's mostly because everything is more expensive this year and I really wanna stick inside my holiday budget. So I found that by cutting these items out, we can do more of the things that we enjoy and add more meaning, like spending time together, traveling to see family, making sure the kids get the things that are on their wish list and they're really hoping for. And so I think these other things we're gonna cut out, I don't even think we're actually gonna notice them. So let's talk about them. So we don't do stockings and stocking stuffers. I've always felt that this stuff, it was kind of the stuff that just ended up cluttering up our house. It wasn't actually useful. It was just trying to scramble to find things that were inexpensive that would fill up the stocking. So did you know it's actually okay if you've already had a tradition of doing stockings that you can stop doing that? <laughs> so I'm just throwing it out there as an option. You can totally do what you wanna do with this Christmas season, but this is one thing that we've stopped doing. I'm also not gonna get a new outfit to wear for Christmas this year. I, I think it's fun to get something new for the holidays, but it's just another line that I can cut out of our Christmas budget this year. You also won't find any matching Christmas pajamas at our house. Now, I think this is a fun tradition and maybe it's a really important part of your holiday. So if you've already done it, I think that's fun, but probably this year isn't the time to start this tradition. <laughs> or if it's not really an important part of your holiday, then maybe you could let it go this year. Okay, how about live Christmas trees? I expect some debate on this one. Now again, if it's a really important part of your tradition and something you look forward to every year, then I think you should keep it. But if you're kind of on the fence about it, we've had our fake Christmas tree for over 10 years now, 12 years, and it's held up great. We put it up year after year, and so we don't have that expense every year, let alone the mess and the hassle of getting rid of it. So this might be a great year to switch to an artificial tree or to look for ones on clearance or on sale after this holiday season and plan to switch next year. And this year, I'm not gonna add any new holiday decor. In the past, I've enjoyed adding a few new pieces each year, but I think it'll help our budget this year just to cut that out and use the things that we already have. It doesn't mean I won't do it again next year, but for this year, I think I'm gonna pass. You might also wanna skip the pre-made gingerbread kits. They're really expensive for what's included, and you can make our graham cracker gingerbread houses for a fraction of the price. Plus, each child gets to make their own and decorate it the way they want to, and so I think that's a much better value. Seriously, this one, $22. That's wild. <laughs> I had to show you this. I just saw this set, and it's like, easy find lids. Do you know the other way that makes it really easy to find your lids is if you just store the containers with the lids on. You don't actually need a gazillion containers. Isn't that magical? <laughs> so skip this too. This wasn't even on my list. This is like a bonus tip. Just skip this. And for quite a few years, we've been skipping out on the professional family photos. You know, with how great cell phones are these days, Tom has a great arm for selfies. <laughs> and so we've taken a lot of our photos just as selfies. But I do think it's fun every once in a while to do a professional family photo, just not every year. And don't get me wrong, we love family photographers, but it really can take a big chunk out of your budget. So we like to do them every handful of years instead. Oh, and we also have a video of how you can take your own family photos on your cell phone with tips from a real photographer. So you might wanna check that out too. I'm also trying to cut out the candles with the artificial fragrances or the synthetic, synthetic, synthetic fragrances just cause they're not super great for our health. So I'm gonna use up the ones that I have at home. Otherwise I'm trying to get the more natural ones or just, you know, boil fragrant things on the stove or use a diffuser. So there's lots of other options. Plus these just keep getting more and more expensive, aren't they? And it's nice to set the mood. But like I said, I have plenty at home that I can <laughs> use up. I don't, don't actually need any more right now. Next on the list is holiday linens. I think it's fun to set a beautiful table, but in order of importance this year, linens just aren't on it. And so I really, I actually don't have much for linens. I have one red tablecloth, I think, but I think with just the pieces we already have, I can still make my table look festive. I'm also not planning to buy any decorative paper products either because, man, the prices on those just seem to keep going up and up as well. So I think this is an area where, again, we can use what we already have and I don't really think we're gonna miss it. I generally skip these holiday craft kits too. They're cute, but it doesn't seem like they really keep the kids occupied for that long. I think it can be cheaper just to give them some cardboard boxes and masking tape. Kids don't need these things pre 
put together for them, let their creativity take shape by just giving them some really basic materials and seeing what they come up with on their own. I also really try to avoid buying like the last minute cookies and baked goods at the store because they are so expensive. So Diana and I actually have a video where you can make such easy holiday goodies just by dipping anything in almond bark. We call it almond bark. Do you call it white chocolate, baking chocolate? Um, it's so easy and it's so much more cost effective <laughs> than buying that stuff in the store. So I can link to that video down below. A couple other things that we're not going to buy this year are meaningless gifts for adults. So Tom and I have opted out of most of the, the adult gift exchanges in, between families and friends, but we still like to give a homemade gift, something just like a snack mix or some flavored butter or, or something like that. That's just a little more meaningful. It's like truly something we want to give to them and share with them and less stressful than having to go shopping and find something for them. And so we've opted out a lot of those. And then also when it comes to fundraisers, we usually elect now just to donate some money towards the organization or the charity instead of buying the item that we're selling because we know a much higher percentage of the donation actually makes it to the organization. And often we don't actually need or want whatever it is that they're selling. We've also decided to forgo the advent calendars or countdown calendars because it seemed to just add another layer of things that I had to buy and find and track down. It just added more stress, but there are some fun ideas to do a reverse advent calendar where you're actually doing stuff for other people. And so I think that's a very fun spin that you can put on it if your advent calendar has started to feel like a burden too. And I love a holiday tumbler just as much as the next person, but I don't like stuff that is so seasonal in use that it's really just meant for a short part of the year so i generally skip these and generally don't buy the holiday mugs and tumblers either and when it comes to gift wrap i still think it's cheapest to get at the dollar store even though now the dollar store is a dollar 25 do you think that's true too i really try to take good inventory of what we currently have because most often we can make it through the holiday season without even needing to buy anything but then if i do need some things i usually head to the dollar store for it and lastly, you won't find me shopping any post-holiday clearances. I know myself now, I've tried to stock up on things on clearance at the end of the year, like gift rack or extra gifts, and that's inventory that we have to manage, and I don't do a good job managing it. I forget about it, I get too much, I go overboard, I spend money that I really don't need to, and so I choose to just stay at home and put the blinders on when all those post-holiday sales and clearances take place. I also want to show you real quick, I just got a pair of earrings in the mail. Often I get asked where these earrings are from and a friend gave them to me and I don't know where they're from. But Angela Braniff had recommended a pair on Amazon, but I really liked them. I thought they were kind of similar and I thought they could be a great Christmas gift for someone you know or to ask for for yourself. And so the only thing is that they don't really come in a nice packaging if you're going to gift it. So you'd probably want to get like... A gift box or if you already have a jewelry container that you could just reuse so i think they're pretty so um let's try them on quick the only bad thing about these they make my ear kind of discolored i don't know i've had them a long time so it is what it is these say they're they're supposed to be for sensitive ears and not discolor your ears so i don't know let's see oh yeah I like that for a stud. It does, it's not quite the same, but um, I think that's kind of pretty. So anyways, I've been trying to keep my gift guide updated. So I have in my Amazon store, I have a holidays 2022 wish list. And I've been trying to continue to add stuff, um, other things too that you've recommended. So I'm trying to keep it updated just to make holiday shopping a little less stressful for you. <laughs> so take it or leave it, totally. I, I mean, at the end of the day, I prefer we didn't have to buy anything, but I understand that gifts are an important part of the holidays too. Yikes, Adeline just texted and said, don't forget to get cat food. This is definitely not the cheapest place to get it. Darn it, all right, well, kitties gotta eat, they gotta eat, right? All right, so there you have it. Uh, 15 items I'm not buying this holiday season. I'd love to know if any of these resonate with you, if there's any that you're gonna skip to, or if there's any things that you would add to the list. It's always helpful when you share that down below. All right, well, I hope you have a really good day. I love you and I'll see you again soon.